Hello, I'm Sarah and welcome to Hub. We talk a lot on the channel about tips and hacks and things you can do to make life a little bit greener. A lot of the projects we run are focused on something called fun theory, which is as easy as it sounds. It's about making something fun, making it accessible, bright and big and loud, so it's easy for people to get involved. And that leads us on to thinking about how our brains actually work. Why is it easier to get involved in something that is positive? We have come today to Futera. This is where we are to talk to Solitaire Townsend about the book that she has written called The Happy Hero, which is all about how doing good can actually make your life better. Who knew? So, you have written this book called Happy Hero. How did you come about writing it? So, I've been working in social and environmental issues for 20 years now. And over those 20 years, I've had the most enormous fun. <laughs> it's been so fulfilling. It makes me happy to go to work every day. I always feel fulfilled when I go to sleep every night. And yet, no one ever talks about that bit. Mm. Everyone always talks about why we should do it, the duty, the responsibility to do the right thing. Almost as if you're enjoying it, you're somehow letting the side down. Um, and so I decided to do a bit of research into the phenomena, and I looked at the psychology, the sociology, even the neuroscience of how we change our behaviours and what happens when we do good things. Mm -hmm. And it turned out that those feelings that I were having is basically what we all get. But sometimes environmentalists don't talk about it very much. So a lot of what this book about is that doing good and doing something positive can also be good for you. What the happy hero goes through is it goes through all the science of that. Mm -hmm. So happy, why we should think about the world in a positive and more optimistic way, mm -hmm. why we should believe that change is possible. And then heroism, why we then have to do something about it mm -hmm. because all the positivity in the world is really good for you, but you've then got to go out there and do something about it. And the happy hero feedback effect is the more you do, the more positive you'll feel, the more you'll want to do. So you end up having this positive feedback loop until you can start taking on really big issues like climate change, for example, which for some people might seem like a bit of a big issue to take on. Yeah, it seems kind of overwhelming a lot of the time and a lot of the way that we talk about it is super depressing. So this issue of doom around climate change, that it's unsolvable, that it's inevitable, is actually just as dangerous as denial because both of them lead to inaction. Mm -hmm. And what we need is action. And if you're feeling overwhelmed about the world, if you're feeling that everything is doom and negativity, then what you need more than anything is to be able to see past that. What can people do to start to move towards that positive place? The very first thing to do is look around you right now and think of something which you can do to make the world a better place. That might be making someone a cup of tea, it might be smiling at a stranger, it might be picking up a piece of litter, something small and tiny. And just reflect for a second how good that feels. Mm -hmm. Let yourself feel good. Don't feel that you should be holding that back, that somehow if it's not hurt it's not helping. Let yourself feel the helper's high. The helper's high is a real thing. Then when you, f when you felt that a little bit, maybe move on and do take some other action. But what I say in the book is the action you should take should suit your personality. Mm -hmm. We're not all the same and we don't all have to do the same things when it comes to saving the world. In fact, there's three groups that I call them greens, as in the colour green, golds, as in a bit of bling, and bricks, as a good solid brick. Mm -hmm. And the greens are big world things they think of international issues, they worry about climate change and they want to do big political activist actions. And the goals are very fashionable, very social media and they want to do things which are fun and fresh and cool. And the bricks are very connected to the local community, they very much understand what's needed around them and they want to do things which matter to the people who live in their area. And you can see how there's different ways of making a difference that would suit those three groups. The most important takeaway from The Happy Hero is to remember that you are allowed to enjoy saving the world. In fact, it's probably the most fun you can have with your clothes on. There you go. Go and have some fun. Save the world. Um, I will put a link to where you can buy this in the description, as well as a link to Futera, so please go and check out what they do. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. <laughs>